In the beginning was the word, the word and the light, the word and the light and man. Then darkness gave us a kiss, this kiss, this kiss of death. I woke up with it deep in my bones, a hunger, an itch, a sweet whisper promising a kiss on the neck. But that was never at the forefront. At the front was the word, the word and the light and me. Held in its embrace, still the darkness crept. I had a brother, my baby brother. He was such a ray of sunshine, a lover of life, an artisan, the kind of person who would cry at a sunset. I was supposed to protect him. I was supposed to be his keeper. Then darkness whispered. The light tried to embrace me, but I spit in its face. I let shadows fill my nostrils and breathe deep into my stomach. Hate filled me like a flame and let me dazzle like a chandelier. The ground ate the blood. Like, like it was thirsty. Like it was looking forward to it. I ran, it was all I knew. And now I wander in my own land, exiled east of Eden. What do you do when you've done the worst thing imaginable? You let the light hold you. After murdering Abel, Cain was cursed to wander the earth. However, he was also marked by God and unable to be killed by man. God allowed him to start a new life and even a family. In the face of our depravity, God responds with mercy.